Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect to a Postgres database using Django. So this has been something that people have been asking me for for a while, so I figured I'd cover it now. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, and as you can see, it's used in the same way that you use the SQLite database. The only difference is you change some settings. So the first thing you need to have is obviously a Postgres database setup. And I have that here through the service called Elephant SQL. And here's my information for the database. So to do this, what I need to do is modify the settings in my project. So I have the settings file open and I need to scroll down to where it says databases. So database is here, and as you can see by default, it is using SQLite 3, and the name of the database is just the path for the project, and the name of the database would be db.sqlite3. So if you want to use Postgres, this is what you need to modify. And the first thing you need to modify is the engine. So the engine in this case is SQLite 3, but the engine that I want is going to be Postgres QL, just like that. If you're using MySQL, then it will be MySQL like that, but I'm not, so I'm using PostgreSQL. And then the name needs to be changed to be whatever the name of your database is. So I'll go back to Elephant SQL to see that. And the name of my database is this random string. So NXDTKNAT. So I'll put that here for name. And then because this is a remote server and because it's Postgres, I need to supply some extra information. So there's a user that is involved. So user, capital R. And then there is a password. So I'll fill this in in a moment. I'm just putting the placeholders here. A host with quotes. So host. And then finally, the, finally there is the port. So the port is the port for the server. So I can get all this information. The username just happens to be the same name as my database. The password is going to be this string here. So I'll just copy that and put it in here. The host is also going to come from here. Stampy.db.elephantsql.com. That is the host. So whatever the URL is for your particular server. And then the port will be... 5432. So I'm getting it from this string here because it's not mentioned here, but using the connection string, you can tell what the port is. It just depends on what you're set up on. But 5432 is a pretty standard port for PostSQL or PostgreSQL. So the host could be localhost. So instead of a URL, it could be localhost if you're running the database server on your local machine. But in this case, I'm using the Elephant SQL service. So I have the URL for that there. So I have a PG admin open and I look at the tables that I have and right now I don't have any tables. So when I go back to Django, make sure settings.py is saved and then I can migrate. So Python manage py and then migrate. And then what this is going to do is it's going to create all of these tables on my Postgres database. So I think there are like 10 tables and it should be done in just a moment here. Okay, it's done. And as you see on the left-hand side, it did not create a SQLite database for me because I'm not using SQLite. So if I go here to tables and then hit refresh, I should see the tables that were created. And if I open this up, I see the standard Django tables. So the auth tables and then the Django tables. So if I wanted to create my own table, then it would be pretty much the same. So Basically, what I'll do is I'll create a simple app, and I'll call it simple. So, say, um, start app, and we'll just call this simple. And then what I'll do inside of simple, well, first I'll add the app here. So, simple. So, it knows that I'm making changes to the models in simple. And then for the models in simple, I'll just create a very simple model here. So, I'll call this my simple model. It's going to inherit from models.model. And then I'll just put call is going to be models dot uh, char field, let's say max length of 10. Okay, so just like that. And then if I make the migration, so make migrations. And then in invalid syntax because I always forget the colon there. 
but if I do that again, it should work. So it created the migration for me. And then if I run migrate, it should migrate that table to my Postgres database. So if I go here to my viewer again and then refresh, it tells me I have 11 tables now and the 11th table is simple underscore my simple model. So the simple part comes from the name of the app and then my simple model is the name of the table. And of course I don't have anything in it, but you can see that it is working on Postgres. So everything from this point on is just the regular use of models in Django. So, you know, you create the models, you query from the models and so on. So you can access the data that you have in your database. It works exactly the same as it does with SQLite. It's basically the only difference is that you have to change the settings to use a Postgres database instead of using the default SQLite database that is there. And if you wanna learn more about how to use the database in Django, meaning how to use the models and how to create different tables and how to query data from those tables, you can go to my website, prettyprinted.com, where I have a free course on working with the database in Django. It's about two hours long. I believe there are like 23 videos. You can see all the lectures here that I have. So you can just go to my website and sign up for this course for free. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to sign up for the course as well. But basically this course will get you started on the most important things you need to know when dealing with the database in Django. So that's it for this video. That's all I wanted to cover. It's a pretty simple topic, but it is important if you want to use a Postgres database or any other type of database that isn't a SQLite database on your local machine. So if you have any questions about this, you can leave a comment down below and I will take a look and try to answer it the best I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.